Oh, every time there's a wreck or something like that, the AI get their cars off the road and then they stand right by the road, right on the edge of it. And I'm here to tell you, in real life, uh-uh. I'd be on the other side of those cars. Way off on the shoulder. I would not be standing out there by the edge of the road. Too many people start rubbernecking, and this happens all the time in real life. They're rubbernecking, trying to see what's going on, and their car or, or truck, whatever it might be, drifts over and they smash into the stopped vehicles. Uh-oh. Well, I ain't stopping. Good thing there was nothing coming. But yeah, the, the differential is set right now to where it will not go faster than 170. I can tweak the number and get it to go faster, but I think 170 is enough. shoulder to pass on the right. Come on, move. Never mind. Now it decides to move. I was waiting for that. From what I can tell in the files, it's, uh, the RPMs are limited. So it's got the torque. It's got the torque. But the RPMs won't let it go faster. Come on, get out of the way. What are you hitting your brakes for? Jerk. Break checking me, you're gonna get a surprise. I'll just pull up behind it and push it out of the way. If I just pull up there slow, it usually I usually I won't even get damaged in my truck. I can just pull up behind it really slow, and as soon as I touch it and start hitting the gas harder. I hope I make it to get this load. I have a feeling I'm not going to though. Come on. Come on, cars, move. Go, go, go. What? Stop hitting your brakes, dick. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you for the follow. Damn, almost. <laughs> she almost pulled my wheel off my desk. Come on, car. Sneak out there. Ah, 
hope that job is still there. I did this this morning and I didn't make it. By the time I got to the job was gone. And it may be again, I don't know, we'll see. Come on, be there. Shit! I knew it. <clears throat> I was pretty sure. Uh, well, all I can do is try, you know. Alright, I gotta get off of this thing. It was worth a try. Let's see if I can find another one. Okay. Nope. 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 Where's that one coming from? Nope, that's coming from Moscow. Nope. Nope. Where the hell am I? I'm up there. I'm gonna have to, uh... Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Nope. Nope. Okay, Olaf. Take care, man, and thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, man. I'm probably going to have to jump to another garage to make everything change. That's too far. I can't. I can't make it before that expires. I don't think, and that's a long way to drive, too. Um, but it does say this doesn't expire for 22 hours, but I still don't, I don't know if I can make that across there in 22 hours. I'm, I need to jump. just jump anywhere really because it'll change all the jobs um, let's try uh, see how far away is that it's not that far away Ooh. Let's try jumping to there and then see what the jobs look like. I need to do a highlight of something one of these days and show people something. Hi, RJ. I'll just call you RJ. RJ and a bunch of numbers. Hello and thank you for the follow. 
trying to find uh, you missed a really good part of the stream it was a dancing truck that was jumping on cars uh, it wasn't my truck doing it but I was coaxing it along when it would get uh, to where it would slow down and I'm gonna make a highlight of it later today and get it up on my twitch page it was hilarious as hell. All of us were laughing our asses off. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Meanwhile, right now, I'm trying to find... I, I loaded up Jazzy Cat stuff yesterday. I'm trying to find heavy loads to test this truck out. And it's uh, trickier than you think it is. too far from me. I can't get there fast enough but for it'll run out. Hmm. No, I can't get across. Man, that's close though. Shit. But I can't get there fast enough. That's too far away, too. Damn it. So close, but yet so far away. No, that's definitely not. Hmm. No, because that expires in four hours. Um. No, definitely not. Nope. 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 Damn it. Nope. I'm going to have to jump again and make all the jobs change. Nope. I'm still too far away. That job expires in 41 minutes. I can't make 41 minutes and go from here to here. <laughs> nope. Yep. I'm going to have to jump again. Nope. Dang it. What's the expire on that one? Nope, it's only six hours. I might be able to make it. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, for the try. Whoops. My help to take the parking brake off. I don't know if you're familiar with this truck or not, y'all in chat. It's the Peterbilt 389. It is an awesome truck. Um, Whoever did the truck did a really good job. There's a few quirks with it. I, I'm guessing they're probably working on it. Which way do I go? I gotta go right. Um, and then I downloaded a mod for it that added some paint packs. Um, added a lowering kit. Uh, bigger engine and that's what I'm testing out now is I went and modified the engine and transmission so I modified the mod I, I don't know how to write mods I have no idea but I'm slowly figuring out how to go in whoops and modify the mods I changed the gear ratio in the transmission top end the fastest it would go was 145 kilometers an hour it'll now do 170 kilometers an hour I can't remember the horsepower was 840 and I raised that I don't know for sure exactly where it's at I've got to dig around for some more information to calculate it but it's around probably 1500 
I was looking for a mod file for an engine, but, but I couldn't find one because I was trying to find one for a thousand horsepower. But I couldn't find one. And I found some messages in a uh, forum post of what some of the files were and what the settings were in the file and what the settings meant. And it's like, huh. Okay, I think I can make a file for a thousand horsepower engine by looking at the 840 and changing the numbers in it. It didn't work. I tried for, I don't know, hour, hour, hour and a half. Okay, we're fixing it as soon as we get it straight here. Fixing to kick this thing in the butt. And finally I gave up. This thing, well, it's like a dragster. I mean, I'm already up to 170. Whoa! I'm going to flip it over in a minute, too. It takes off fast when there's no load on the back. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't get to the mute. It acts a little bit more normal when you got a heavy load on it, and that's that was what I was testing it for. And why I wanted more horsepower was I had never messed with the Jazzy Cat stuff. Uh, I don't know how high the weights go, but I've already pulled one that was 75 tons, and the stock truck at 840 horsepower will pull it. It can get it up to speed on flat ground, but I got it up to about 115, 120 kilometers an hour. Doesn't take long to pass. Which is a, that's for, that's a respectable speed. But that was on flat ground, and it took a long time to get that fast. So, that's what prompted me to get a little bit bigger engine. And I'm still tweaking this thing. somebody came in or left but anyway welcome welcome to everybody that's in chat I don't multitask very well at all um, I try to but usually uh, I like to drive fast so usually I have to keep my eyes on the road Or things get real ugly real quick. Like rolling the truck over and over and over. Flipping it and flying over guardrails. <laughs> well, I made it. Choo! That was close. Damn, that was close. Stock, stock engine would have never done that. I bet you I'm going to be late for this load. Great in a train. Here's the interesting thing about this truck with the modifications I did. I'm in, I'm in top gear. I'm in 18. Watch this. I can take off, just punch it to the floor. no time <laughs> you're hauling ass <laughs> this morning when I was messing around well not this morning yesterday morning 
I had a 24 ton load and started off in 18th gear and just punched it to the floor and was over 100 kilometer an hour in around, a, around 10 seconds. That makes this thing kind of fun to drive like that. Right now, it's with have really heavy weights. It suffers from the problem that the Kenworth has the same problem that I know of all of them, all the trucks do, with really heavy uh, loads. Front end slides sideways when you're trying to go around a corner. came in or left. I need to get rid of that sound anyway because I didn't realize it was going out onto the stream. Somebody told me a few days ago when I was streaming that that doorbell ding dong thing goes out on the stream. up anyway. Sharper. I need to slow down. I can't be doing 170. I've got the brakes tweaked to the max that it'll go for sensitivity, and then I have the auto retarder. Set so it's tied to the brakes. So every time I hit the brakes, you'll hear it. You'll hear the retarder kick in first. Welcome to the channel. Hang on. Jasper Kaz. I hope you enjoy your stay. And thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a job to pick it up before it expires, but I don't think I'm going to make it. What 
are you hitting your brakes for? Come on! Well, giving them credit, the speed limit is 50. Was. I bet you that job expired. Damn it. Can't see. Nope, there's a car coming. A bit of a souped up engine in this thing. I've been driving a long time, there's no way I'm going to make it. as much as I can to pick that job up. Oh, I've got a bunch more curves. Dang it. far. I'm trying to remember now. I think if I remember right, I had six hours to make it. Well, that, but that's game time hours. I don't know how long I've been driving. I think it's six. I think one hour is five minutes. Whoa. Coming. Nope. Go around. Um. Which one is it? It must be this one. Nope, that's my garage. Damn it. it must be the one across the street. Shit. What? The hell am I hung on? Sorry, dude. I'm in a hurry. Please be there. Got it. Okay. It ain't the heaviest in the world, but... That's 60 tons. 
I wanted to get a 75. Whoops, I don't need wipers on. I hit one of my buttons. And get turned around and get lined up. I wanted another 75. I don't. I don't know if 75 is the heaviest that Jazzy Cat has or not. The other back up. Okay. Might want to shift beds. All right. Hang on. Empty my ashtray and light a cigarette. Uh, I'm fine on fuel, but I'm going to need to sleep before I deliver this load. And that's a lot farther than I wanted to, to go. That's a long haul. It'll take a while. Okay. I don't know how long I got before I got to sleep. But... Wait, what did it say? Three hours, fifty-three minutes. So that's I feel like about fifteen. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just go. I changed the. Engine specs again. It should be more reasonable with this weight on there. I may have to drop it more. And I definitely have to. Uh, file to modify to solve the problem of the front end of the truck sliding sideways when you're trying to turn sharp on a, with a heavy load. This might not do it, I don't know. It might not be hit quite heavy enough. I'm going left. Shit, it didn't turn wide enough. Treader must be longer than a standard one, too. Grind them gears. Can't find them? Grind them. I like the sound of this truck. I found the sound files, and there's one spot that I want to modify. When this thing gets right around the area of 1500 RPMs, which we're about to hit, right here it starts getting louder. And if you're punching on the accelerator pretty hard, it gets a little bit loud. I want to see if I can find where that's at. down a little bit. Aside from that, I like the sound of this thing. Whoa! Shit! Okay. Whew. I saved it. That was close. Wow. 
I thought I lost it. That was really close. Curves were sharper than I thought they were. Can't tell. Uh, I don't need sleep yet. quite as easily with a load on, but it still won't be anywhere near as bad as a stock engine. Gotta turn to right. There's where it starts getting loud. I think I know how to fix it, though. Pretty sure I do. Make it? Nope. Dang, damn it. Come on, you can drag it around there. See right there, it slid sideways. I don't know if you noticed it or not. Uh. Hang on, I gotta write that down for or I almost lost it. Make another highlight. Alrighty then. Let's go. Find the right gear. There we go. Whoever that was, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I can't tell from the sat-nav map how sharp these curves are. RPMs wide. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. At this speed. It'll be four hours from now before I deliver this load. Good. They're turning. Sipping my coffee. I go faster. Can't. Sorry, chat. I can't keep up with it and keep this thing on the road. 
All I can say is thank you for everybody that's here. Um, I don't know if you played it or not, but the bank heist is set up. And you can initiate bank heist yourself if you want to do bank heist with each other. And if any of you play the arena, I'll have to start it. It's got to be a moderator or the channel owner to start that one. If somebody wants it, I'll start it next time I stop. It won't be too much longer and I'll be stopping, and I probably should have stopped at that spot right there and rested. Shit. Yeah. I should have. Oh well, too late now. Damn it. Yep, I should have stopped there. Wonder where the next one is. Figures. If that would have beeped before that stop, that would have reminded me and I would have stopped. 30 seconds difference in time, probably. Kate... Kate Strange? than I think it is. This is going to be a problem if there's cars on the other side. Yeah, 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 I know. And for everybody that's interested, the money that you see, that's all legit. And if you'll see it scrolling across the bottom as I go. But I didn't drive in. I have two. 227 drivers working for me. And I've been playing this game. I the, Before Scandinavia, it was 154 drivers that I had. Then Scandinavia jumped it up to uh, 227. And I've been playing this game for over a year. And I play a crap ton of hours. I think I got like 1,500. Okay, I don't need fuel yet, but I do need sleep, and since I'm here anyway, I might as well top off the fuel. And with any luck, I can go over there and sleep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But there, whoop, there it is. I hope. This thing, I, 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 I can't talk is what the problem is. This thing's got big fuel tanks on it. the hell did it? Did I hit that pump? Sure as hell did. Huh, this thing's wider than I thought it was, too. Come on. Let me sleep. Come on. Please? Pretty please? Shit! It's not gonna let me. Uh, that sucks. Try. Uh, yes, 
Yes, I know I'm getting tired. So try to come in on an angle a little bit. Come on, let me sleep. It ain't going to. I can't get any closer than that. Oh! Whoa! I got it. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Jasper Kez. Whew. I didn't think it was going to give it to me. All right. A sip of coffee. I gotta work on my shifter. It's coming loose. Nope, nobody coming. Come on, go. Truck go. Takes a little while to get going, but not too bad. I think this engine is going to work out okay. Of course, I'm on flat ground too. It may be a different story when I hit hills. I made to the truck. Um, if I got enough road, top top end is 170 kilometers an hour, which is just a little bit above my Volvo 750 that I drive when I'm playing multiplayer. It's around 160. Shit, these curves are sharper than I thought. Man, sometimes you cannot trust the sat nav. It's damn fun and sliding again. I gotta fix that. All of the trucks pulling heavy loads have that problem. And it's a really big problem when you're tr trying to go up a hill. Well, not j up a hill. Up a hill and around a corner. It's when you hit the accelerator And you have a heavy load. The front end starts lifting up. But it's more pronounced when you're on a hill. There's a fix. There's a way to fix it. I just have to go do some reading to figure out what I need to change.
I'm using a G27 with the H shift and I have two buttons to switch what range I'm in so I go 1 through 6 7 through 12 and 8 through uh, 18 no 13 to 18 I don't know with that said I don't know how people um, can use incremental because with incremental you got to shift usually it's with a button or something but you got to shift every single gear you can't go from 7th to uh, 12th I, I love it. I, I, I prefer the H shifter where I can shift to whatever gear I need. And plus, doing it that way, to me, it, it seems more realistic. And the same thing with an automatic. With automatic, you're shifting every single gear. Well, not you're shifting. The transmission is shifting every single gear. And you don't need every single gear. I've never seen an instance where you needed to shift every single gear except with heavy loads from about above maybe 14 sometimes but I've a couple times I've had heavy loads and I had and was kind of pulling a hill a little bit of a hill and had to hit 15 16 17 18 but normally I don't. I skip gears. No. I just back wheels went off the edge. It's like, man, I it's hard to get used to this thing being long. What are you doing? Don't do that. It's like there. You want from 7 to 10, 12. Whoop, wrong one. 14. <laughs> 16. There was no need to hit 15. What is this car doing? Wow. These AI are stupid. I think we all know that though. Thirteen, sixteen, and a bunch of curves. I still got 1,400 kilometers to go. Wow. This is either the longest trip I've done or the second longest. You can flash your lights all you want. I don't care. I'll turn them off when I get ready. Side the road. Trying to 
trying to keep from hitting the curb. This trailer's pretty long. train engine it says 60 tons but I would think that it would have been more than that I don't know I've got the jazzy cat cargo heavy cargo ah, I'm sliding sideways again dang it military one and the trains these big loads are fun I just need to fix the truck at least I know that there is a fix I just I just have to f figure it out oh I clipped that one again This thing goes over the line quite a ways. Woo. Better go over this way. Yeah, and I just that was just far enough. Whoop. Caught the curb. And it looks like this thing is wider than my truck is. Maybe by a foot. a trick to not grinding gears except in first from a dead stop when you first take off there's I and I think it's a bug something's broke you got the clutch in you put it in gear you're not moving you go to take off and a lot of times it'll grind the gears but once you get going the trick is push the clutch in shift to the gear you want don't let the clutch out. Listen for the transmission air shifter to shift. Let it shift. When you hear the air shifter shift, then you can let the clutch out. And if you do that, 99 times out of 100, it won't grind gears. In case anybody in chat didn't know that, that's the trick. And I gotta turn again. I'm not going to be able to make this whole trip without taking a break myself either. Shift. I'll quit blinking your lights. guy stops I start going and then he pulls over and takes off thanks guy really appreciate that AI does that all the time to me you look at them they stop and it's like oh okay they're gonna let me go and you start moving and then they pull up in front of you Real 
nice of them, you know. I looked around in the key bindings on this game because there's a key. There's two keys. But I wish I could bind to a button on my wheel. One is the roof lights. The only way I know is to turn them on and off. Or I, I basically tie them to your bright light switch is the, the F4 key. And either bind them to it or not. And the other one for multiplayer was the tab key, but somebody showed me another trick and it works great. I call it the 500 list. Because roughly it shows anybody within 500 meters. I wish they would do in, in the game like uh, I do in real life. If I'm driving, my headlights are on. I don't care if it's broad daylight and bright sun. That's even more reason to have your headlights on. Now I don't do it on a car, but on my motorcycle, during the daytime, not only did I run my lights, I left them on high beam. It's not going to blind anybody or anything, and it makes it a whole hell of a lot easier for other people to see you. I've heard so many people say, well, I don't need my lights on, I can see fine. Well, duh that's not always the point. It's so other people can see you. It's especially tough to see cars. Depending on what color they are. Like lighter colored cars like a light gray. When it's kind of not dark and it's not light. It's not dark enough to legally have to have the headlights on. Or at least where I live at. But it's really hard to see vehicles that, that are that color. Alright, let's go. Kick this thing in the ass. Car shit. I got it. The AI stopped. Whew. I didn't see the I saw the truck, but I didn't see the car. Prime example. If the guy would have had some nice bright headlights on, I would have seen it. I just I tried to glance over and read it, but I, I can't. Whoever just followed, thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. Oh, come on, truck. 
couple hundred more. Oh, come on. I can't get around. I can't see. And he's not... His speed really isn't bad. I'm just in a hurry. <laughs> speed limit's 60. I got a turn coming up anyway. Yeah, I love the sound of this truck compared to all the other ones. I like this one the best. Except for that. I'm gonna fix it. I did find the sound files buried in the mod. I just gotta figure out what to how to modify them. Come on, ship, there you go. Come on, get the right gear. Bats. Yeah, I took some time off, uh, a little bit. It, uh, I did some long streams, and I, it, I was plumb wore out. Okay, let's kick this thing in the butt and let's go. Great roads. I probably should have dropped down to 17th instead of stayed in 18th all that time. goes pretty good if you got a long enough road, straight enough. I'm going to stick with the engine specs that I got now. This is 60 ton, and I know there's 75 ton loads in here. This is just about perfect. Close 
might have, nope, I don't need sleep yet. I don't, I don't trust the sat nav in this game. It has bit me in the butt a couple of times. It doesn't look like a curve is very sharp, and then I end up wiping out on it. It's all these brake lights. Well, I gotta turn anyway. Well, that's why people can't merge. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong. There was no reason for anybody in the left lane to be hitting their brakes. Absolutely none. And then you got these people that didn't get in the turn lane when they should have. I don't know if there was a sign back there and I did, just didn't see it. Maybe there wasn't any sign to indicate that the freeway was um, ending there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they don't have GPS on theirs. All right, I gotta hug this left side. tell how close I am to it. I just know I gotta stay way left or I'll end up dragging the trailer on the guardrail. And there you go, it just slid sideways. If I try to hit some speed, The front end slides sideways. Thousand fifty five. Um, do I, how close am I getting to need to sleep? I don't need fuel. I think I'm going to pull in and sleep. I'm here. Come on, I don't, didn't want to stop. And I'm going to get up and stretch my legs. And I remember from the last one, I have to hit this parking at an angle. If I pull straight into the parking place, it won't work. It should work doing this. That's what it worked last time. Come on, there it is. My skinny old butt cheeks are hurting. I need to get up and uh, stretch. I will be back in uh, five minutes or so.
Okay, I'm back. I had to get up and go walk around. This is a long trip. It's almost 2,000 kilometers. I can't sit that long. I have to get up and move around. I wasn't talking because I wasn't here. I want to go get some coffee and light a cigarette up and make a pit stop. Right there. Then it goes across here over to Sheffield. load is uh, 60 tons. It's a railroad engine. Yesterday I loaded up the Jazzy kit with um, three of them. The trucks and trailers or whatever it's called, the military and the railroad. I modified this engine and the transmission why is everybody stopped go These construction lights are frickin' stupid, just like the AI. The 
they should have sensors. traffic on the other side and go ahead and change the light. Oops. I didn't notice until the last second that I got to turn and I just took a sign down. The question is, did I damage... Jeez, oh Pete, how did I get that much damage to my trailer? Where the hell did that come from? Well, that's gonna suck. Big time. Unless I just got it right there where I dragged the edge of that thing. Because I haven't seen any collisions. So, why do I have so much damn damage? Um, I don't know. Screw it. Kind of pisses me off, but I don't even know where the damage came from. Not gonna make anything on this load, but that's fine. I don't need the money anyway. My drivers make money faster than than I can possibly spend it. Uh, something in this game to spend your money on. Hey, Jimpy. Something. Yeah, I think this engine is going to be just about right size. That wasn't much of a hill, but it was pulling hard. Making the old girl work. modified the engine and transmission in this truck. Top end used to be 145 absolute maximum, even bobtail. It's now 170. The horsepower was 840. And right now, I'm not sure what it is. I gotta find the... Somewhere, I gotta find a a uh, forum post or something somewhere and just keep searching until I find somebody that has got the formula to convert torque to uh, horsepower. The stock one with the Caterpillar engine, chip-tuned, is 840 horsepower. Right now, I think that I'm at about 1,200. I think. I, I don't know for sure. Based on the values I changed in the configuration file, I think it's about 1,200. On flat ground, it does fine. Um, last load I did was 75 tons. 
and I could go plenty fast enough on flat ground like this. And this loads 60 tons. I had a feeling that car was going to do that. That's okay. I had some fun uh, while I was tweaking settings I'm in trying because there's no documentation that I found yet on what to do where what where and what what does it do so basically I was just playing with I found the fi uh, blah, 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 blah. I figured out the file easy enough but I didn't know what the values meant, so I just started playing around. Um, I turned the peak into a uh, dragster. Uh, Twenty-four ton load, starting out in eighteenth gear, and I'm gonna lose the right lane here. Pretty sure, but I don't want to hit that guardrail. 24 ton load, start out in 18th gear from a dead stop, punch it to the floor, and in about 10 seconds, give or take, you're doing 100 kilometers an hour. And when you do that same thing, when you're bobtail, uh, It's incredible. Oh, too many gears. It's the same engine. I just modified the file. If I go in at the garage and look at it, it still says 840 horsepower, but it's not. That's the part I gotta figure out. It doesn't tell you what it is. It's the same cat engine. All I did is modify what the parameters were for the cat engine. That, basically, that's what I did. And I gotta turn again. You know, I just get going and I gotta turn. And that's why I said I think it's 1200 horsepower. Based on the changes I made, that's an approximation of what I think it is. Ooh. Well, and I still cut that curve. I needed to swing out farther before I turn. The way that they did the file, and I, I imagine the other ones are similar, the one for the engine is kind of strange how it's laid out. A lot of the values in there, the game doesn't use. It's only for display, ah, shit. display purposes only, and I hope the hell there's nobody behind me because I'm backing up. sliding sideways again. That's the next thing I gotta modify in the file. I don't remember what update it was that they did. I think it started with the beta for point one eight. The one point one eight
Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, shit, that's cool. Hmm. And it's called Mod Maker? Oh yeah, I gotta get a ferry. And then the rest of it is in UK. This is gonna be interesting. Curbs and signs. I don't want to get dinged. I've already got, I think it was 11% damage on my trailer. Yep. Two, I don't give a shit about my truck. But 11% damage on the trailer, I'm going to get dinged. But uh, it's not like I need the money. Did I go the wrong way? Yes. Somehow. I didn't see it. It's behind me somewhere. I passed it. Okay. That's fine. Turn around. I was reading and talking keeps going sideways on me. Oh, there it is. That's all I needed to go is do is go straight to the ship. I just didn't see it as I drove through. My bad. I don't remember what the load was. I saw somebody carrying something what one day. And I don't remember if it was the train or the ship. They couldn't they couldn't get in. Okay, I got you, BRB. side. Don't run into the fence. Don't run over the curb. Take the corner wide. That was still probably not wide enough.
after driving for 50 years on the other side of the road, it really just does not feel right on this side of the road. I watched a video on uh, break.com today. I was laughing my ass off. These two girls are driving in a car, and I don't know who was recording it. Somebody was recording it, and whoever was driving the car says, uh, you're driving 80 miles an hour. Wait a minute, what was it now? If you're driving 80 miles an hour, I think it was if you're driving 80 miles an hour, how long does it take to drive 80 miles? Or something. It was something really simple. And the other chick that was the passenger couldn't figure it out. She tried and tried and tried and tried, and the other, the, the other girl kept wording it different every time. To make it clearer, and the other girl still couldn't get it. And the caption underneath this video was, How do people like this exist in this world? How, how, how do they function in, in, you know, in the world? I mean, the, the question was the answer. You ought to try Google on that one and see if you can find it. It's it, it's hilarious, and I I totally agree with what the guy is, what the well, guy, whatever the person is saying. It's like, uh, how do you function every day in life if if something like that stumps you? And if I remember right, they said they tried this on several people, and a lot of them didn't get it. Oh shit. And it's like, ah, duh, hello. I didn't even, oh, wrong side. At this point, with as much damage as I've already got, Uh, as long as my truck stays running, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I, uh, but the Jimpy, I mean, uh, how... This one's so simple, how can you not know it? And I may have the wording wrong or something, but but it's close. The, the, the answer is so obvious. The answer is in the question itself. 
I mean, you can word it umpteen different ways. If you're driving 80 miles an hour, how far can you drive in one hour? Duh. 80 miles. I mean, like I said, the answer to the question is part of the question. Go figure. Apparently, my understanding is what's, what it's shown in the video is real. It's, it's, it wasn't faked, supposedly. And if you watch the video and see the look on the girl's face, I'm pretty darn sure that it was not faked. She honestly was stumped. She did not know the answer. I don't know if anybody could fake it that good. You've seen it? That's sad. And there's people in this world walking around like that. I don't know. Oops, turn, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Did I make it? Yep. I'm sliding a little bit, but I made it. That uh, program you're talking about. After I get my stream done. streaming this long, but that, that's what happens to me all the time. I just wanted to jump in and play around with some of the changes I made to the engine and play around with the uh, Jazzy Cat uh, loads. Okay, this goes I gotta go past. If you don't, if you don't hit the clutch, you can use all three brakes. You can hear, but when I don't have the engine revved up, you can hear a little bit of a whine in the gears. That started doing that after I changed the gear ratio for, um, of the differential.
it could stand to change the ratio even more but I don't see the point see if I can run a train into a McDonald's truck trailer is touching the guardrail. My trailer is wider than the truck is. That's probably because I've done it a couple of times. That's probably what damaged my uh, trailer. Far enough? Nope. Ran over the curb. It's going to take a while to get used to some of these loads. set up for this. Uh, I guess. This way. I don't know. If I can't get it, I'll just hit the enter key. I'll give it a shot, though.
not over, but I think I'm close enough. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Uh. Yeah, I'm off, but I'm not off that far. Uh. I'll give it one more shot. Might not make it because of the length, too. Oop, nope, I got it. Good enough for me, a reasonable. 31,000. Half of it was damage penalty. <laughs> yeah, not like I need the money. Yeah, of course I want to buy American truck. I'll do the same thing with American truck uh, as I did with uh, Scandinavian. I'll be sitting on my computer waiting. It's supposed to my time. It was supposed to be come out. Scandinavian was supposed to come out at five five p.m. It didn't come out at five p.m. I kept trying to get to it, trying to get to it. No, no dice. It was uh, five twenty, and I was downloading it. so there's not going to be anybody trying to get in here anyway, but just out of habit, I'm going to pull off and get out of the way. Actually, what I should do... Now, I'm going to go ahead and rest right here. Walk a little bit. take uh, about a 10 minute break before I grab another job. <laughs> 